So this is a Bailey Pegasus 462, just going to take you around the van and show you how it operates. In front of the van we've got the jockey wheel hitch and handbrake, we'll demonstrate these to you in person here on site. In the front locker we put a gas bottle on so you can try all the gas appliances on board the van, this will be coming back off after the handover and the gas will already be turned on when you arrive on site. You can carry a maximum of two 6 kilogram propane gas bottles in the front locker at any time. Come down the side of the van, storage locker for underneath the, or in the front of the caravan. Got your onboard water storage tank which you need to fill manually, you can pull this out and fill it with a cap on the end here. Let's fill it up to the top and I'll show you how to operate it once we go inside the caravan. And at the bottom you've got your wind down legs to stabilise the caravan on the side. Heating and hot water flue. You need to remove this cover prior to operating the heating or hot water inside of the caravan, and we'll demonstrate that when we go inside the caravan how that works. We've then got our water pump connection, which very simply pushes into the side of the van, as you can see, and locks in place with the cap. And you've got your pickup pipe that drops inside the act roll, and it needs to be fully submerged prior to turning. Uh, that's the pump or the pickup pipe needs to be fully submerged in the water before turning the pump on. You then got your motor mover and wheel nut. We'll demonstrate the motor mover to you here inside. And also torque wheel nut so you can see the correctly. The two fridge vents, very simply there to allow the hot air out the back of the fridge in and to take some cool air in. On the top right hand side of that, you'll have a gas flue for when you're running the fridge on gas. Like I said, you can operate everything on gas because the gas bottle's in the front locker. Um, so you can handle all that. You then got your two grey waste pipes coming out the side of the van. You've got large diameter holes where your grey waste pipes go in and then the grey pipes will drop down inside the waste master itself. You've then got your toilet flush tank coming further back. This will take three and a half litres of water and a cap full of the pink fluid prior to you. So you open up the key and put three and a half litres of water in there and a cap full of the pink fluid. In the bottom you've got your toilet waste cassette. I'm just going to need to grab the key to open that. So as you can see in the bottom here, you've got your toilet waste cassette. Pull up the orange handle and pull the cassette towards you to release it. You've then got the turnout neck that turns out 90 degrees so you can tip the waste away. The grey cap is a measure for your pink and your blue fluid. You've got your orange pressure relief button on the back of the cassette, which is to allow the waste to come out a lot easier when you tip the waste away. So you have to push that button in to allow it to come out. And you need to put in one litre of water in this cassette and a cap full of the blue fluid. At the back of the van on either side, you've got the two wind down legs to stabilise the caravan while it's on site again. Like I said, they're already there for stabilising, not lifting. Coming down the door side, you've got your battery locker with your mains power lead coming in. You've got your three pin socket underneath the cover there for your outdoor power supply. The last of the wind down legs, barbecue gas point, and another storage locker for this side of the van. Going on to the inside now, I'll show you how the inside works. On the left hand side of the door, as you walk into the caravan, you've got your master control panel for the caravan. So you've got your mains power and 12 volt power on the switch just here. You've got your interior lighting on the top left hand switch. You've then got your awning light for the outside of the caravan on the right hand side. And on the bottom right hand side, you've got your water pump, which I'll come back to in a moment. At the top here, you've got your uh, battery voltage display and it indicates how much power you have in that 12 volt battery. The next thing I'm going to show you is the 240 trip switches for the caravan. Now they'll be underneath the seat on the left hand, so right -hand, left -hand side front of the van here. You will need to make sure that all of these switches are in the upright position to allow everything to work on board the caravan, so all as they are at the moment. If you arrive on site and you're not sure if you've got mains power coming to the caravan, hit the test switch once you're plugged into the mains power. And if this switch drops down like it's just done, it means there is mains power coming in. If it stays in the upright position, it means there is no mains power coming in to the caravan from the site you are on. Each of those are marked with what they are for. On the left hand side of this box, you have your 12 volt fuses. And again, you've got a list for what each of these is for and what size fuse down this side should be in each of those uh, fuse blocks. That was just a little tip for you to uh, help you recognise if you have power coming into the caravan or not. We've then, on the opposite side of the caravan under the seat, on the opposite side, so I'm just putting the cushions back at the same time, got your... Um, water storage tank so again you pull out the seating area at the bottom here which actually makes into the bed as well so you pull out all of these to make the bed up and they all join in the center using the outer cushions to make the bed up uh, the outer ones there into the center then these hump sections you turn over and put to the back but underneath here you will see 
a yellow valve just there on the left hand side of the screen and that is your yellow drain down valve for the water system on board the caravan. So that will allow the water system to be filled up. If that valve is upright and pointing towards the bottom of the seat, it will actually drain all of the water out of the system onto the floor underneath the van. On the right hand side, you have this blue valve. Now in the position it's in at the moment, pointing to the outside of the caravan, that allows you to fill the hot water tank just here directly from the ACK roll. If you want to use that onboard water storage tank that we were talking about, you need to spin that valve around 180 degrees so it's pointing towards the inside of the caravan and that will allow you to use the water system, uh, the onboard water storage tank from the front of the van. Like I said though, we're going to demonstrate it from the ACK roll, ACK roll on the outside of the van directly to the hot water tank that you see just here that holds 10 litres of water. So once you've got them, the yellow valve in the correct position, flat with the floor as it is at the moment, and the blue valve pointing to the outside of the van, you are ready to fill the system up. What you need to do first is though, before you turn on the pump, is open all the taps up on the hot side of the water system. So as you can see here, all the taps are open on the hot side. You'll then come to your water pump switch and turn the water pump on. You do need to make sure once you've used the caravan and you're taking it back to your storage or driveway, for instance, that you drain that water system down by opening the yellow valve up and also opening all the taps up in the central position between the hot and the cold and all the way open. So once the pump's on, to start with, when the system's empty, it's going to spit and splatter slightly till it's got the air out of the system. And then once the system is full, you're going to have water running out of every tap continuously on board the van, as we have now. At that point, you can shut all of the taps back off and you can start thinking about warming the water in the water system. That's where the two controls on the wall here just come in. Come in. So the bottom one here is your electric water heater switch. So you'll see it says 230 volt water heater. Flick the switch on and the water heater will start warming up from the mains power uh, coming from the site you're on. It will not boost the water system on the 230 volt mains or 240 volt mains. It is only for um, warming the water up essentially at a steady speed however above you've got the option to run gas which is what you'd use if you're off grid or if you are um, boost wanting to boost the water system for when you go for a shower you spin the outer gray dial to the flame symbol so this little tab points to the, to the flame symbol and then you have your green light here which indicates when it is ignited on gas and if it fails to ignite on gas you'll get a red light appear in the back of here also you can control the water temperature on gas between 30 and 70 degrees. But like I said, you do need to use that to boost the system. Um, if you don't use it to boost the system, the water won't warm up quick enough on just the electric. To turn the gas supply off to the water heater, spin it back to the central position and it will isolate the gas supply to the water heater. On the opposite side of the caravan, you have your controls for your electric heating for the caravan. So that's what comes out of this little heater down here. For it to work on 240, you need to have the bottom switch on here, and then it'll put power to the main control switch above it. And down the side of this switch, you'll see it says 500, 1000, or 2000 watts. What this means is, is the amount of power the electric heater is going to operate from. It will depend on what caravan site you're on to what you select this on, or put this on to as well. If you're not sure, ask the site office when you arrive on your holiday, and they should be able to help you. Here on site, we can run it on a maximum of 500 watts. And once it's turned on, we get a green light in the back of here. You can then control the heater temperature by spinning the dial left or right or anti-clockwise or clockwise. The higher you go, number wise, the hotter the heater will be. You've then got the option to run your gas heating for the caravan. So the dial on the left hand side here, you spin it round to between 10 and 9. Hold down the gas valve and then when it is ignited on gas, you'll have a pilot light in this window at the front, as you can just about see there. Once it has ignited, you slowly release the gas valve. After five to 10 seconds, and then you'll be able to control the temperature of the heater on gas on this dial on the right left hand side between one and 10. On the right hand side of the heater, you'll see your blown air option. So that's what these little vents are for around the caravan. So if you want to use um, the, the heater so, so it comes out the front, you need to have this little switch in the center here, on the dot here. If you want to use continuous blown air, so the heat comes out the vents around the caravan, or you just want to use them as a cold air fan during the summer, you can do that, and you can control your fan speed on the dial on top. The A on the right hand side is automatic blown air, or um, so essentially it cuts in and out with the thermostat on board the van, so as the caravan warms up, 
the heat or cools down, the fans will kick back in and start warming the van back up. And as it hits temperature, they'll cut back out again. Again, you can control the fan speed on the dial on top. Hob, cooker, grill and microwave all work very much like your household appliances. You do need to remember to remove the microwave plate before traveling. Um, the cooker itself, you have your igniter on the front here, as you can see. Um, and that'll ignite with the gas turned on. Again, do give this a try while you're here on site so you can see everything is working as it should. The fridge is very simple to use. On the left hand side of the fridge at the top, you have a dial here. And the first symbol you see is 240 mains. Now 240 mains is when you plug into mains power on site. And then you control the temperature of the fridge on gas or electric on this dial on the right hand side. The next option you have is 12 volt mode. And that is for when you are towing down the road. So when you're towing down the road, you'd make sure you're connected to the car at the front of the caravan. And if you have the right connection on your car or it is wired up correctly, then the fridge will work as a cool box. You do not need to have the main control panel turned on inside the door. You just need to make sure it's on a 12 volt mode on the fridge for it to operate. And we do advise you try and chill the fridge before you put it onto the cool box mode so it makes it a lot cooler when you start traveling. To operate the fridge on gas, if you're off grid, you spin the dial to the bottom here. Press in the uh, sorry, press in the temperature control on the right-hand side of the fridge, then hit the igniter at the same time. When the fridge ignites on gas, the little red line on the top left-hand side of the fridge in that little window will start coming round into the green. Once the red line hits the green, you'll need to continue holding in the temperature valve or temperature button, sorry and then release it again after five to 10 seconds and then just come back to it after a few moments just to make sure it has continued to run on gas. If it hasn't, go through the process again and reignite. Put it back onto 240 mode. Going into the bathroom now and the last thing we're gonna go through is the toilet system in the bathroom. You have an electric flush on the toilet so you press the button to flush the toilet. You have a toilet full indicator light on the top left hand side of the toilet. The toilet seat itself, it turns for your convenience. However, when you're removing the toilet waste, except from underneath the caravan, it needs to be back in the central position. The same as the gray waste handle. When you're using the toilet, you'll push that gray waste handle over and it'll allow the waste into the cassette underneath the van. So that is the Bailey Pegasus 462. If you have any further questions on the van, please don't hesitate to give us a call here at the caravan company and we'll be more than happy to help. We appreciate your business and we look forward to seeing you here on site soon. Thank you again. Bye-bye.